John Annie back on Clinton Road. I don't know if my uh, Facebook Live was successful or not. If you, if it did not go through, we just got a car coming. Uh, good news is it's a different truck. Dude, you said that? Yeah. Oh, oh. Well, we were just out of the car doing some uh, some calling out, taking some pictures, taking some video. I don't know if my live went through. We used some, uh, some names that may have... Uh, been uh, somewhat triggers. Anybody that's watching this, when I post it on Facebook, you're going to be watching for a few minutes. And if I, if you see nothing, I apologize. I mean, I can't tell you you're gonna. That's the car. But. Let's see, let's see if we got anything. Nothing. Nothing on that one. Alright, our uh, EVP session was... Got nothing in. If there is anything here and we didn't... Doesn't mean we're going to get it. And if we don't get anything, that doesn't mean there's nothing here. Car. Newer. As you see, Clinton Road is not really a uh, highly traveled road, which I guess is, you know, lent itself to its to its ominous um, history. I don't know hist if history is a good word, but its reputation maybe. But we've been here for what, like twenty minutes. All right. Oh, you see. Is that like a shadow, maybe? That's what it looks like. Can you go back one? Like, that was the first picture I took. And then it just, like, comes out. Oh, you know what I think that is? I think that's the flashlight. Oh, you think it's my flashlight? Okay. Yeah, I think that's the flashlight catching the yeah, back of the car. Okay. And that would have been, oh, so, like, like, oh, been so cool. That's a little, like, I, I saw it, I'm like, okay, that's... Just the car, and the next one just kind of comes out. I'm like, oh, maybe. Oh, we got the sky down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, we're all good. We're all good. No, I appreciate it. We're just uh, do a little amateur ghost stories of, of Clinton Road, so we were just checking it out. Oh, all right. <laughs> it's not too much. It's just a cool road. Yeah. <laughs> hey, thank you very much, buddy. Thanks. Have a great night. This is more balls than I have. Yeah. Although I do have a question. Why is it turning around? Why? Have a good night, man. You too. Why, Why would you come around? down to this point on a road and turn around at this part? What's the reason for that? All right, this is nothing that... Let's probably the nothing. Let's get in the car. But why would somebody come down this dark road at, what's it, 11 o'clock? Yeah. Ask somebody if they need help. We tell them, no, we're okay. He tells us, no, it's just a cool road with a cool story. And then he turns back and goes the other way. I that mean, was, I'm, not saying, I'm not saying that was supernatural. I'm just saying that was really weird. <laughs> that was really weird. <laughs> All right, well, the voyage continues. Yeah, the voyage continues. <laughs> That 
was super crazy. Well, I mean, <laughs> you pull up on a car. At first, I thought, man, this guy is cool. He's got some balls to him. But then he turned around right in front of us. Yeah. I mean, did he? I uh, mean, Andy? What? I got headlights behind me. Uh, we got a car coming up behind us. It, this is a road. This is a county road. <laughs> it's a public road. It does not mean anything if there's a pair of headlights behind you. I it mean, kind of came out of nowhere though fast. We'll just we'll keep going along here. We'll see what happens. See what happens. I tried a couple times to go live on Facebook. I don't know if either one of them were successful. I mean, I'm not the most technologically savvy person in the world. But, um, yeah, we're, uh, saw some slight, uh, photo anomalies. But, have not really heard anything, have not seen anything with our eyes that could be considered any kind of paranormal activity. The only weird thing we saw is that guy in the Porsche. That's it. <laughs> but, um, hey, where'd that car go? Where did it go? Oh, there he is. I see his lights. Oh, this might be that other bridge that they're talking about. Dead Man's Curve. This is no. This is that was Dead Man's Curve. Yeah. Did you ever put a cord down on the road back there? I didn't. Did you? I don't have one. Oh. I'm broke. <laughs> You're my boss. You should know That's I'm right. broke. <laughs> I mean, if nothing else, this is a uh, some good practice, really. I mean, absolutely. Again, I tried to do some uh, Facebook Live. But I don't know if it went through or not. I don't know if I need Wi-Fi to do Facebook Live or if my, uh, I don't have any, what's it, what's the word? Service or whatever. But, um, I tried to put it out. If you saw it, you know, let me know you saw it. And I think that car is gone, dude. That car is gone. Okay, we don't have headlights in the uh, rear view anymore. Uh, he is gone. And we have not passed any. There was no turnoffs. There was nowhere for a car to turn, and the car is not behind what us anymore. What the hell? So maybe we did get some activity tonight. Who knows? I really wish I would have had my camera pointed at the the side view mirror the whole time. Uh, did we just get our first? Uh, was that the first glimpse? Was our that first something? little uh, something on Clinton Road. Who knows? <laughs> All I can tell you, we pulled off the side of the road. A car stopped after about, what, five, ten minutes. I asked if we needed help. And this could not be considered a phantom truck. This was a newer Porsche. I'd say no older than five, six years old. And the guy asked if we were okay. We said, yeah, we're fine. He turned around. Why he would turn around, he would come halfway down this road, stop, and turn around and go back is un unknown to me, but after we pulled away within, what would you say, 45 seconds of driving, headlights came up in the uh, rear, rear view mirror. We have passed, and you can go back and look again. You can look at all of this uh, video if you want and see if maybe I'm wrong. We did not pass any side roads. We did not pass any cutoffs. And that car that was behind us is gone. Was that the Phantom truck? I don't know. But if that is the Phantom truck, that's not the story that's told. If that was the Phantom truck, it should be right on our ass right now chasing us. But, you know, who knows? I don't know. John doesn't know. I do know that the lights that were behind us are gone. And, uh, yeah, so that's what it. That? There's a little shrine on the side of the road there. I wonder if that's where that accident was. There's, uh, that I, I that I could find, there were at least two fatalities on Clinton Road. One was a rollover, a guy got uh, pinned in his car. And the other one was uh, 
I guess a uh, West Milford oh, deer. A West Milford cop was happening along and found a Jeep off the road into the woods, burning, like fully involved. And when the fire was extinguished, they found uh, they found a body in the car. It was later identified as a 19-year-old man. But uh, those are two fatalities directly on Clinton Road. There have been others possibly attributed to Clinton Road, but not definitely. The one, the first one with the rollover, uh, the police believe there was another car involved. They believe it was stemmed from an altercation on Route 23. And that's, unfortunately, I couldn't go any farther and farther back to research that because there's nothing more in, in any papers about it. So, but could be, might not be. So what are your thoughts, John? I don't know. I'm not 100% impressed. But that was weird. Yeah, the weirdest thing was uh, you do have that one picture where the light just blacks out. Yeah, that is weird. And comes right back on again. We thought we had another picture, but we were able to debunk it as just the headlights or just a flashlight causing a shadow from the back of the car. So... We're not just up here trying to get something to get something. If we see anything, I promise you, we are going to study it 10 ways to Sunday to find out if it's real or if it can be explained. And if it can be explained, we're not going to tell you that we caught something. If we... The definition of paranormal evidence is when you try... That's a raccoon. Yeah. When you try to explain something, you try to dismiss something with everything that you possibly can and you still cannot explain it that's evidence I can't do that with anything other than the car that was behind us I can tell you John will tell you that there's nowhere there are turnoffs, there's driveways there's, I don't think there's actually like other county roads but there's places you can turn off for this road but there was none in that area. There was nothing but woods like you see here. So, I don't know. It's... Unexplained. We, it's one of those things that's going to be left up to... If you are taking the time to watch this video, it's up to your interpretation. Do I think it was paranormal? I think there's a possibility. I don't think it's a phantom truck because we're not being chased. We might have just missed a pole. That's the only thing I can think of. There might have been a pull off that we missed. Yeah, but we were on the road for not a, not a minute. The only time I've even felt anything strange was when we got out of the car. Was it the second time we got out of the car? No, the first time. Up by the bridge, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. When you mentioned Kuklinski? No, it was the second time we got out. Uh, John mentioned the name of a very uh, prolific mob hitman that is known to have dumped bodies on this road he mentioned the man's name I don't want to mention it again because I'm getting tingles again but he mentioned the man's name and we both at the same time almost simultaneously said I just got to chill it is 40 something degrees and it's chilly it's cold outside but it was a different feels color. like it got a lot colder it just, I got to chill up my spine that wasn't there and it wasn't long but those are two you can't use that as evidence it's a it's a story it's something that I can tell people that I experienced on Clinton Road what I are you crazy <laughs> are you know. serious how mazo do you have to be to live on Clinton Road <laughs> but um Again, to the headlights, is this something that I would feel comfortable um, submitting to a paranormal anything to say that I got that? No, of course not. Again, I wish my camera would have been pointed at the rearview mirror so I could have said those lights just disappeared or those lights turned off or they did a U-turn. Anything, but nothing. 
and there's been several cars that have gone past us within the last since we stopped seeing those lights and since then we have seen no other cars behind us that might have just turned their headlights off so it's a definite story i guess now we're getting down toward the end of the road because there's yeah, a lot I'm, more uh i might just turn around a lot more residential uh activity going on uh, activity listen to me a lot more residential than the uh the top end of the road but um yeah we had a uh, I don't know, we, I, 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 I'm not going to say it was not a success. Nice. I'm not going to say it was a failure. I'm not going to say I'm 100% convinced Clinton Road is haunted. I'm not going to tell you I'm 100% convinced it's not. What did we have? We had two strange experiences. Mm -hmm. One was, I mean... If we would have got some audio when he mentioned the name, when we got the chills, that would have been something. I, that that I would have said, we got it. But we didn't. The cars, though, both cars are just crazy. I don't... I mean, the headlights disappearing is really weird. But I just can't get over that guy. No. Because it's not like he passed us first. No. It's not like he went... Like he saw us, came back, and then deer. A nice buck. All right, and I'm turn around here. at that point, there's nothing residential, so you can't even say somebody saw us from his house and no, said, no. "I'm gonna go help him out." No, we there was no residences. There was nobody there. Hmm. Look at that, a black truck. Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, heading back. Back to, uh, back up Clinton Road. Will we be back? Probably. Will we do others? Yes. yes. I, uh, I think, I think I can speak for John when I say this is, a, this may be our first trip out, but it's not going to be our last. If you've taken what's it been, 18 now minutes almost to watch this video, I thank you. I hope, you know, it's a little something, something, give you a little little chill right before Halloween if you do see something in this video or if you hear something that John or I may have missed please don't be don't be shy you're not gonna surprise us with anything uh, that you may say if you do see or hear something and you want to tell us about it all I would say please just mark down where it was so we can go to it and try to find it and then We'll do our best to uh, to see if we can see what you see or heard. Yeah. Absolutely. Beautiful lake over here. So uh, this really is. I mean, during the day, this still is an ominous road, but it's still. I mean, it's beautiful. This time of year, with the uh, foliage, you've got something across the lake there. I don't know. It's a really cool light. Yeah. Someone's got some decorations out. You know, what it looks like it looks like the sandworm from uh, Beetlejuice. <laughs> I don't want to say anything, but we just passed a black truck on the side of the road. <laughs> but he was just sitting there. He's not coming out at us. Was the truck there before? It might have been. I don't know. I wasn't. Yeah, looking. it was. I know there's a lot of cars parked up here as it's getting more residential. Now we're heading back into the. We're going back to the real jungle. <laughs> uh, it was a. It was an experience. It was. It was cool. It was. Huh? I didn't get any negative feelings i got the chill ones we got the headlights that were behind us that disappeared we got uh we got the crazy guy in the car and if we can i'm gonna keep this up until we get back on to 23 so if we we'll go past if we we're gonna know the bridge where we came from and we're on the way back there's no turnoffs here yeah there's nowhere to turn here there's that over there, but that's gated, and that's not a that's not even a turnaround. I mean, it, it's just a turnaround. Yeah. So I mean, he could have turned around when I wasn't looking. I don't know. But it's definitely uh, unexplained. Unexplained. I'm glad I came out. 
I'm glad I talked John into it. Truth to be told, though, anybody that doesn't know, I, I said the word Clinton Road to John in the first, oh, we gotta go. <laughs> and honestly, in the spirit of truth and fairness, I looked for about 20 different reasons not to come. <laughs> but I'm glad I did. And uh, we had a, a little something something. It was fun. Worth the drive out. Uh, anything I would call it if I was going to rate what we just did I would say inconclusive yeah I mean was there a little weird stuff happening yeah was it paranormal I probably not probably not I mean just saying the name that John said is enough to give people chills if you know the story behind the man but um the car, the guy, the driver in the car we talked to was a human being. I don't know why he was there or why he turned around, but it was definitely a... I mean, he looked like a flesh and blood human being. He was driving a Porsche. He was a younger guy. I don't want to flash a light in his eyes, so I didn't put my... Uh, I didn't get what he looked like, but... Uh... Yeah, so I'd just say un inconclusive. Um, good practice. You know, so now we know when, you know, we know how we'll react if we get a chill or if we see something. We didn't freak out. We didn't jump up and down saying, we got it, we got it. It was just something to just keep in mind. And those are the kind of things, if you get pictures, if you get photo evidence, if you get audio evidence, you can tie it in with a feeling, but we got nothing. We got one little piece of, uh, what would I, I guess maybe you'd call it a photo anomaly? Yeah. In a, we're in a rapid succession, there's uh, three pictures, light, no light, light, and the light had not been turned off. So, I don't know. That's probably nothing. It could have been, like John said, it could have been my flashlight. So, just got to be more careful. You can't just be, if you're going to be taking pictures like that, I shouldn't be flashing the light around willy nilly. So, that that could be me. So, we really can't even throw that one into the ring. And if it was something, it's because of me that we don't have it. So, this is one of the things you learn. You learn from it. If we're going to be doing this more and more, then we have to learn how to do it properly. And you know, we will. Yeah. Yes, this was about the area that that car was following us. Yeah. Well, we just passed a uh, turn off on each side, but I think that's when we when you first saw them. Yeah. Well, no, 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 because we were because that, there's that that shrine that I said. Okay, yeah. Earlier. And he was already behind us by that point. No, that was after he he disappeared after that. Yeah. So, so we still have a little bit to go. I am so intrigued by that friggin' Porsche, though. Yeah, I'm still thinking about that one. I mean, it's it's probably. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just going to stop talking about it because it just... I don't know. It just know. gets weirder and weirder the more you think about it. I'm thinking to myself, this guy's got a lot of balls. This is... I mean, if he knows the story of Clinton Road, he's pulling over to a black SUV and asking, hey, you guys okay? You broke down? No, we're okay. And he says, yeah, it's just a cool road. I believe here's where we were. No, no we were past that, this is that this, other bridge. Yeah, this is second bridge. And that, that, that's just my stuff falling all over the place. And uh, he says, okay, have a good night. And then proceeds to make a U-turn and go back up. I just don't get it. I don't get it. 
if you're still there 25 minutes into this <laughs> either you Michelle and you really love me or you just somebody that's hoping we catch something <laughs> and like I said please if you see something throw it in there let us know just give us a uh, a timestamp and we'll go back and check it out it's gonna take forever for this thing to load because I'm going up over 26 minutes now. Yeah. But this will probably be uh, there for your viewing pleasure tomorrow. Uh, I mean, feel free. Anybody watching this, any comments you want to give. Do you think we're just a couple of idiots? None of this stuff is real. Do you think it's incredibly real? Do you think we just got lucky that we didn't see anything? Have you been to Clinton Road? Comment, man. Make it... I mean, it's Halloween. Tell me your friggin' ghost stories. I don't care. Just throw whatever you want in here. You know, just... Be, be, if you do comment, just be respectful of anybody else that commented. If you want to call me a nut, fine. But anybody else that comments, please, please be respectful. I'm just waiting for that bridge to come. Here's Where's Dead Man's. Here's Dead Man's. All right, so I think we stopped before Dead Man's Curve, We right? did stop before Dead Man's. So I'm guessing it's probably going to be the next yeah, it's, little it's, cutout on that on your side. It should be. There was that one cutout over there, but we didn't see another car parked down there. No. Again, all this stuff with those headlights in the rear view, I wasn't watching them constantly. John can't watch them constantly because he's driving, so they could have turned off. I'm not going to, we're not, neither one of us is going to tell you that it was paranormal. But we will tell you that they came up out of nowhere, that's true. But they also seemingly left from out of nowhere, but that's a, that's a throwaway. You can't call that evidence. Is that it right there? No. Maybe that was. I think that, yeah, that was. That was the area. Okay, so it just passed where we were uh, and it's straight away. calling it's out. And there's, it was a pretty good straightaway. And now, as you, like I said, you can see there's no, there's no residential area in this at all. There's nowhere anybody could have seen a car on the side of the road. With the hat, with no, there weren't any flashes on. Oh, here it was. That's where it was. Okay. There was no flashes on the car. The headlights were turned off. So there was no way anybody could have seen us and said, I'm going to see if those guys need help. That Porsche was friggin' crazy. That, I don't know. Unexplained. And there's another moment. I jokingly mentioned to John the other day. Was that a person? I don't know. If it is, I got it on film. So go back and check it about 20, say about 27 and a half minutes. Watch and see if there's a person standing on the left side of the road. Um. I jokingly said to John a few days ago at work, I said, how far are you willing to go? Well, what do you mean? Would you get out and walk a stretch on Clinton Road? And so I said I that? would not. No. Hell I no, would no. not. We were kicking around the idea of each person getting out and staying, you know, staying, sitting solo for 15 to 20 minutes. And... We decided not to, for multiple reasons, safety being the chief one of them. But um, honestly, I don't think it would have been much different. You see a lot of twists and turns on this road. It's a windy road, very dark. Want to just like stop the car for a second? Yeah. No, just like. 
stop and just like turn off the headlights to show just how dark this road actually is. All right, so this is what you would see if you were walking down this road. Headlights, no headlights. This is how dark Clinton Road is. Just to give you some sort of a, an idea as to how dark the road really is. There is not, even in the residential areas, there's no uh, street lights. I'm guessing that's uh, the reservoir over there. That's gotta be the reservoir. Um, cool experiences, uh, nothing, I would say nothing paranormal. And I say there's no street lights as we come up on a street light. Is that a street light? I think so. I hope so. Either that or it's a phantom light. Let's yeah, start that one. <laughs> uh, no, it's a driveway light. Or sorry, I'm not agreeing. Yeah, we're getting back to the uh, to the other residential side. And again, I ask, who in their right mind would live on Clinton Road? <sighs> Apparently, some very affluent people, because that house we just passed was easily seven digits. All right, so here's what I thought was gonna happen. I honestly thought we would see police activity. Because I, I really thought that just because of the time of the year and the, the history of the road, I thought that there would be more police patrols. I thought that there would be at least one or two, you know, cops passing us. We saw nothing. We haven't seen a trooper since, what, 80? So, I don't know, maybe they, they'll do them as it gets later. Maybe they concentrate them on weekends. But that's it. That's Clinton Road, side to side and back. Yeah, back 23. If you see anything, let us know about it. Let us know in the comments. Say goodnight, John. Good night. Have a good night, guys.